Hello, you gorgeous geeky science fans. Are you ready for your nugget of knowledge? This sexy, slithery reptile is the eastern garter snake, or Thamnophis sertalis sertalis. It got its name from the Greek Latin term for bush snake that looks like a garter strap. How it didn't get named the trouser snake, we don't know either. Seems like a missed opportunity, though. Moving on, this floppy, fuzzy little disco queen is known as the beach blight aphid. Its fancy name is Gorilla Procyphilus imbricator, or the boogie woogie aphid, which is a prime example of aposematism, a warning coloration indicative of the neurotoxin it produces, tetrodotoxin, which is not psychoactive but has been used to fake death. Hashtag don't lick this newt. Each hair is microscopically barbed and meant to easily detach and embed itself deep into the skin of predators or dumb, I mean precious children. No touchy. Garter snakes may look a little intimidating, but they're not venomous and usually slither away at the sight of people feet. Don't mess with them though, because they can strike with enough force to leave the ground. And also they're probably gonna poop on you while they're doing it, for real. Although they don't live for more than a few weeks, they do stick around for the most important step of their life, sexy times. Females lay thousands of eggs, which then hatches nymphs who quickly outgrow themselves and proceed to molt their too tight clothing between 12 to 36 times. Everyone in quarantine understands. At that point, they adopt their true grumpy nature and wander off into the world alone to lose their beauty and become rather basic tan moths. And so it is. Once she finds her new water home and her mate, they do a little dance, she swims to the bottom to scoop up the sperm packet he so rudely put all the way down there, and then she turns green. Ugh nature. So unfair. That's it for today. Tell your friends, science is real whether you believe it or not.